Hey guys, welcome back to Xfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I wanna show you how to create a dynamic form with your e-commerce store. Someone from my Wix Fix support needed an e-commerce store. However, their products were so customizable that they would have to give a custom quote for each product. So they didn't want the users to actually be able to buy the product. Instead, they wanted them to request a quote. So in today's video, we're gonna be creating a custom dynamic e-commerce store, but instead of an add to cart button, we're going to have the user be able to submit a form and that form is gonna automatically know which product that that user is interested in. Let's go ahead to get started the first thing I want to do is turn on dev mode okay and then the second thing I want to do is I want to create a new database so I'm gonna come over to add content manager and add new collection this collection is going to be for our custom e-commerce page so for this example I'm just gonna call this one custom shop and then I'm gonna press create now it's gonna open up a database for us to fill out. However, I wanna come over to our databases, go to the store databases and come down to products. Next, I'm gonna come over to the three dots and export the CSV. And I want to export the entire collection with all of its content and press export. Okay, now you can see it downloaded a products CSV file. And if we go back into our custom shop database that we just created, we can come up to this three dots and press import items. Now it's gonna let us choose the product CSV that we just downloaded. And the only thing that we actually want to carry over is the ID, the name, the description, the main media image, and then I'm going to uncheck everything else and I'll keep the price format as well, but everything else we're going to uncheck. Great, now let's go ahead and press next. Then it's gonna have us review just to make sure everything looks good. And once we're done, we can press import. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make the name the primary and I'm going to go ahead and delete this title. And I'm also going to go ahead and delete the weight and I'm going to hide the publish date and the draft date, okay? Now another field that I want is a reference field. We're gonna call this one from store. And for the field type, we want it to be an actual reference. So we're gonna come down to reference and we want to reference our products. And we can go ahead and press save, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up here. And basically all that we want to do is we want to match each one of our products to the one that's actually in the shop. And the cool thing, they're kind of in order already. So even if you have bad eyesight and you can't really see what you're choosing, it's actually not too bad. Unless of course you have a lot of products. Okay, so now that our database is complete, now let's go ahead and create a dynamic page. So we're gonna come over to our pages. We're gonna go down to content manager. We're gonna go to our custom shop and we're gonna press the three dots and press add blank dynamic page. Great, so on this page, we want to have like the basic information. We want the image, the product title, the description, the price, and a button. So let's go ahead and add an image. Then we can go ahead and add a title. We're gonna go ahead and add a paragraph right underneath it. We'll go ahead and add a smaller title for the price. And last but not least, we'll go ahead and add a button. Okay, so now what I want to do is just link all of these things to the database except for this button. This button will code manually. So I'm gonna click this image, I'm gonna connect it to the database on the page and we'll connect it to the main media source. For this heading one text, we wanna connect it to the name of the product. For this paragraph, we wanna connect it to the description. For this heading four, Text. We want it to be the formatted price. And now we are done connecting everything that we're supposed to connect, but now we actually need to create a form. So in order to do this, let's actually come over to Content Manager and we're gonna create a new collection. We're gonna call this one quote form. We're gonna come into the additional settings and we're gonna set it to form submission and we're gonna press create. Inside here, we're gonna want the user's name, we're gonna want their email, and we're also gonna need a reference field for the product that they're requesting a quote for. So we're gonna call this one product. And just like in the other database, the field type is going to go to reference and we want to set it to products. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make the name the primary just so I can delete the title because we will not need this. And now we're done with the database, but now we actually need to create the form on the website. So what we're gonna do is come over to add, we're gonna come down to interactive, and we're gonna choose a light box. Let's just choose this one right here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything in here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And what I'm gonna add is just two input fields, and we're gonna add a button. 
Okay, now that we have our light box set up, now what we need to do is go ahead and add a data set to the page. We're gonna go into settings and we want to connect this to the quote form. Instead of read only, we want to set to write only. That way, when someone presses the submit button, it actually fills in content inside the database. And now it's time to do the light box. But before we actually add the code, we actually need to sync these to our quote form. So now that we have our quote form data set here, we need to link this input to the name value. We need to link the email to the email value and the submit button. Of course, we just need to actually submit the form. And if we want, we can add a success message, which will be right here. Great. Now we can go ahead and add the code. First, let's go ahead and start with the dynamic page. And before we actually start coding, what I want to do is actually change the name of this button right here to button quote, which I'm just going to use BTN quote, just like that. And now we can go ahead and start coding. Now for this page, I'm just going to delete everything that's on it already. And the first thing we want to do is import Wix window. So I'm going to type in import Wix window from Wix dash window. And you're going to notice it's grayed out and that's because we're not actually using it yet. When we actually set up the code that actually uses the Wix window, then this won't be grayed out. So what we're going to do is just grab this button and we're going to come over to on click and we're just gonna add this event, just like that. Basically what this code is saying is when this button is clicked, then something's gonna happen. Before we can actually tell it what to do, we actually need to set up a couple of variables. So the first one is we're gonna say let current equal, and we're gonna do the dollar sign W, and we're gonna call the dynamic data set, which is this right here, and we're gonna say get current item. Okay, so basically current is saying what page are we currently on or what product are we currently viewing? The second variable that we'll need is kind of an object where we're pulling the name from the page and we're also going to be pulling the product ID from the page. So what we're gonna do is create another variable for called data OBJ and we're gonna equal this to squiggly lines and we're gonna call this name is going to be text 16, which is this one right here, which is the product name. Then we're gonna do dot text comma and then underneath that we're also going to need ID, which this is going to be current dot underscore ID, okay? And now that we have our variable set up, now we actually can tell the function what to do. Now what we want is Wix window to open a light box and we actually need to get the name of the light box. So let's go into our pages. We'll go to light boxes and this is called announcements. We're back, but we're going to go ahead and rename this to quote just like that. So we are going to open up the quote light box and we want to carry with us data OBJ. Now what we want is to go over to our light box called quote and now we need to add a little bit more code. And the first thing we actually need to do is do the same import from the other page. So we need import Wix window from Wix dash window. Great. The next thing we'll need is another variable that's going to pull the content from the other page. So let's call this variable received data and it's going to equal Wix window dot lightbox dot get context, just like that. The next bit of code that we're going to put in here is going to be in the on ready function. And all we're going to put in here is in it parentheses like that. And basically this is going to call a function to activate. However, we have not created the function quite yet. We'll do that in just a minute. But under this line of code, we're going to do dollar sign W and we're going to call this data set, which this is data set one. And we're going to do on before save. And we're going to add some more parentheses and do the equal greater than symbol. And we want to console log continuing saving. And we're also going to want data set one set field value for product to received data dot id and then underneath that we want to just return true the last thing that we'll need to do outside of the on ready function is we actually need to create the init function so we're going to say function init and we're going to say let option equal and we're going to do these straight brackets like this and then inside of that we're going to do curly brackets and we're going to say label equal received data dot name and then we're going to do a comma and then we're going to say value equals received data dot ID. And we're going to go ahead and press save. So now if I go and view a product on the website and press get quote, it's going to open up our light box. 
And here I can just do a quick test. I'm just gonna put in a fake email and press submit. And you're gonna see that it's submitted to the database just fine. But the important thing here is we don't want to just submit to the database. We want to see product number two inside the database with it. So we're gonna come back over to the editor. We're gonna to go to content manager and quote form. If it was done correctly, which it was, we have the test name, the fake email, and the product that they wanted. Now, if I go to another page, product number 10, press get quote, and do test two, fake email two.com, and press submit, and go back to the editor, and reopen the quote form, we should see one for product 10, just like that. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. As always, if you want the code for yourself, it will be available on my website, so you can go check that out in the description. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you